What's going on, Dolphins? It's Connor from the Dolphins Dive, and we fucking did it. Let's go. Dolphins take the dub, advance to 2-0. and What a game, man. Down 21 points entering the fourth fucking quarter, and we came back and fucking won. Excuse my language. I apologize. I will be better. But this was the game. Tua just solidified he is him. Okay? I mean... Anything can happen from here on out, but that was his the game he needed to, to win over everybody. And he delivered. 36 of 50, 469 yards, nice. Six tuds, two picks. You can't ask for much more from a guy. He went absolute off in the second half along with Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddell. Just an incredible game all around. Uh, obviously started off rough. Um, offensively, there was the two picks. Um... They were, they were bad, obviously, but they weren't terrible picks. They were kind of just throwing the tight coverages. It wasn't necessarily reading things wrong. Um, but let's just talk about the good, man. Obviously, the defense left a lot of points as well. It's a good offense there, though. Um, two a balled out. The run game was very solid. Um, between our top two backs, 16 carries for 84 yards. So it's just a solid average. Um, and especially with the game script, we couldn't run the ball all that often. Tyree Kill, 11 catches, 190 yards, two tuds. Jalen Waddle, 11 catches, 171 yards, two tuds. Um, just an absolute barn burner. What a fun game to watch. Um, also, if you're watching this, I'm running a giveaway on my Twitter right now. I'm giving away two Tua Time shirts. Make sure to check out that tweet. Get yourself entered. Um, but what a game, man. Um, like I said, didn't start out how we wanted. First half. Um, going to halftime down 28-7. And at that point, I'm like, fuck. Like, I obviously want to win, but I just want to see fight. And boy, did they. Um, and there were the refs, now, like, some of them were certainly flags, but there was way too many nitpick flags on us. Um, the tripping flag was awful. Like, the, the refs were against us that game too, man. Um, it's just a phenomenal job. The defense only letting up 10 points in the second half um, was very, very good. Especially uh, at the end of the game when we needed to get stops, they got stops. Melvin Ingram with a huge defensive stop in the fourth quarter. Um, but they, they just let our guys run past them, man. And Tua delivered on multiple deep balls. Motherfuckers say he can't throw deep. Guess what? He can. Um, that's why I'm giving away those shirts. So uh, just fired up. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of speechless. I would have uh, done a little more in-depth analysis in the middle of trying to qualify for this major Madden tournament. Um, but that I was literally playing a game for to qualify um, while the comeback was happening. I had the stream pulled up, and I was just flipping out. Um, so hopefully I make a run there as well. But yeah, just just a great game. Great time to be a Dolphins fan. Uh, 2-0. Mike McDaniel. That offense is just... Mwah. Like... Obviously, we have great pieces, but just the scheme is so much better than what we've had here in the past. It's, it's night and day. Um, great play calls, great execution from all the guys. The offensive line did a phenomenal job. When have we seen quarter, our quarterbacks have that much time to throw the ball? Like, the, the, the amount of confidence this team's going to get just from this win is just, uh, like, in, insane. Like, all of the bad things that have happened to all of these guys, too, well, Austin Jackson, Liam Eikenberg. Austin Jackson's hurt, but Liam Eikenberg. Um... Just like all the bad, like this, this helps clean the slate for them. Um, I'm very happy to see uh, Mike Kosicki have a very strong game. That that touchdown in the third quarter from Tua was a very like great catch by him. Um, and then another guy who nece doesn't necessarily show up on the stat sheet, but absolutely played his balls off. Now he missed some blocks that were noticeable, but Alec Ingold just fucking pancaking guys on the regular. The uh, the big Jalen Waddle play in the first quarter, I believe he pancaked the guy. Um, there was, he was serving pancakes up all day. Um, quarterback sneak, like the, the guy's a major utility piece. He's our Kyle Juszczyk, and he's he's very, very good. He's honestly one of my favorite players to watch just because how unique and dynamic he is. Um, defensively, I wouldn't say anyone stood out too heavy. Um, I, I really loved seeing um, Melvin Ingram on some of the defensive stops. All of, there was multiple third and fourth and shorts uh, that our defense were put in. Landon Roberts, you already know that's his that's his bread and butter. Blows up the gap, stops everything that moves. Um, he had a good game, in my opinion. Eric Rowe, um, now he got a lot a couple passes completed on, but he was always tight in coverage. He stood out to me. 
Um, X got beat a lot, but he also almost had that pick six, and he, he definitely had a better second half. And the defense in general had a much stronger second half. Um, Christian Wilkins flying around the field, tremendous effort. So, once again, all-around great team win. Obviously, the def defense struggled, but Lamar Jackson's the dog. We So much respect for that guy, but I think that's going to do it for the video. Um, I'm hopefully going to drop some film breakdown clips. Um, there should be short segments just breaking down individual plays. However, if you guys want me to turn that into a long video, let me down, let me know down below. Uh, comment how stoked you are and any thoughts you might have. I'm com I respond to everybody in the comments. Appreciate anyone for watching. Until next time, I'll catch y'all.